Hey everyone, this is Amuels4568 here today, and I'm here to be reading one of the fanfictions that I have happened to write for Sunset Shimmer's Past. Um, I promised in my last video that I would be recording myself reading a fanfiction that I had written, and that I had written. And I had written this in a notebook, so if you hear squishing of pages, don't worry about that. That's me. Anyway, I hope that you guys are really excited for this, and let's begin. Long ago, during the Summer Sun Celebration, a tiny unicorn with the orange coat, cyan eyes, and a fiery red and yellow mane was born. Her mother was Bumblebright. She was a pegasus who was in charge of helping the bees create honey as food for Equestria. Bumblebright also came up with the name Sunset Shimmer for this tiny bundle of joy. Sunset never knew her father, but Bumblebright often told Sunset he was a unicorn with a gray coat and a long white beard. Soon, as Sunset grew in to be a small filly, she quickly developed her magic and was, and was eventually enrolled into Celestia's school for gifted unicorns. Once she became a student, she quickly learned of Starswell the Bearded. She couldn't explain why, but she said, but she always felt as if she, always felt as if she was supposed to take after him. She felt she she wanted to be able to learn. She wished that she could be his apprentice, even even though that she never would get the chance to meet him. As her knowledge of magic grew, her ambition to grow and to grow more powerful. Her ambition grew along with it. Grew, her ambition to grow and to grow as powerful, or should one say, more powerful than starts while the bearded grew. Sir and Startman, Sunset was at the top of her class and was Celestia's pupil for a long time. That is, until a young filly named Twilight Sparkle was enrolled into Celestia's school. At first, Twilight was not at all good at magic, but when she got her cutie mark, she was able to surpass even Sunset so much she became Celestia's new pupil. Sunset was so content on beating Twilight that she stole books from the Cantalot archives, which were off limits to her, and find and find a spell so powerful that not only would make her Celestia's pupil again, but get Twilight kicked out of the school for good. Sadly, her plan did not go well. Celestia had managed to catch Sunset reading about the magic mirror. Cel Celestia had attempted to apprehend Sunset, but Sunset had managed to reach the mirror first and jump through. Celestia tried to go after Sunset, but the cl but the mirror was closed. It won't. It wouldn't be open for many years to come. Celestia had no choice but to erase the memories of Sunset's presence until she came back home. The end. So there you have it. That is my headcanon theory. Well, that's actually what I think that Sunset's past would be like. I don't. I have no idea of whether or not if this is true or not. But I would be very happy if if Hasbro had used at least some of this. I know that they really can't because that would be taking from the Phantom, which they are strictly advised against. But they could always deny that they saw this video. Anyway, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll be seeing you all very soon.